Hey guys, today's video is going to talk about how to water your garden effectively, specifically with a classroom full of students. So I wanted to introduce to you one of our favorite tools we use to do this. This is the upcycled watering can. This is a gallon or even a half gallon water milk jug. Uh, what we do is we, we just poke some holes or drill some holes on the top here. Make sure you have a few in the back as well to let air in as you pour, and that way students uh, won't have to crush this. Uh, water should come freely out. It's a good watering can. So when you come out to the garden with a classroom full of students, uh, as a teacher uh, or advisor, what your, uh, what your job is going to be is to spread the students out to water the entire garden evenly. You should be expecting to need 15 to 20 gallons of water. That's a good estimation. Uh, you're really going to know if you watered well by feeling the soil afterwards. We'll cover that in a second. Uh, but once you spread the students out, you can assume that a smaller garden of this size will um, require about one gallon of water, and one of the larger ones, a good estimate, is two gallons of water. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how to use this, and then we'll test the soil. So as your students start watering, uh, one of the key things for them to do is to can you continue to move the jug throughout the garden. They want to cover all the soil with water, obviously, and enough for it to seep in a little bit. But we, you can see it's running a little bit, maybe, if there's hills and valleys, and we want to avoid that as much as possible so your seeds stay right where you left them. After, or where you planted them, sorry. Once you've done one pass in the garden, everything might look wet, um, but the best thing to do and the best way to tell if it really is well watered is to actually take a finger to the soil and find a spot where you don't think any specific seeds are. Start scraping back a bit. Um, I can tell right now, uh, because we had snow the past couple days, that it is moist further down. Um, but you should dig at least an inch to, to get a feel for this and you'll be able to tell pretty quickly uh, if it is moist enough or if it needs more, uh, more watering. And uh, really just getting your fingers in the dirt is the best way to tell. So best of luck and uh, have some fun with it. Thanks.